Hi, I'm making this video about a story uh, of my observations and a little healing experience I've had along the way after an accident that I had back in August, about mid-August. And I had uh, basically had a, a, a situation where, you know, I hit the dirt doing about 35, 40 miles an hour and completely jammed this right arm and trying to break that fall in that accident and um, it was a temporary dislocation I mean actually the entire shoulder just would come out and uh, it was a very painful experience so the next day I finally went out to the local ER the emergency room and it did full x-rays and uh, found that it nothing was out of place but what I found was is that if I would do certain things like maybe reach out to shut the door on the truck or open the door to the house to let the dog in or something like this, the arm would completely go out of, out of socket momentarily and then come and snap back in after this accident. So I uh, had a very wise person uh, recommend to, that I look into a homeopathic and uh, so I did. I went to uh, also talk to uh, what I consider to be one of my doctors. He's like a super doctor. And uh, he had, over the years, uh, told me about homeopathics. And uh, this other person, who's very wise, uh, told me about homeopathics also. So I went to Clover's Natural Health Market in Columbia. And I found the Boron product called Arnicare Trauma. And it's, uh, it's like uh, about... Seven dollars and ninety-five cents, something like that. So, uh, as I understood, I could use it. There's like fifty pellets here to a thing, and so I understood uh, that I could use it by putting five pellets into uh, a bottle of water and drinking it throughout the day. So I decided to do that because the the local hospital they they offered the uh, the painkillers, but uh, doing the kind of work that I'm doing and the kind of studies that I'm doing right now, I needed a very clear mind and not to be induced to sleep or any other effects that are sometimes experienced with those that are taking painkillers. So um, I went to uh, the Clover's Natural Health Market and, and got this and I noted that uh, it's interesting because later I went to the Boron website and I took their basics, their certification and got a certificate in the basics of homeopathics and I understand that um, it's actually made in France and uh, they've got a lot number and an expiration thing on here and they said that uh, in the United States I think it was the FDA had classified some homeopathics as as a drug since 1938 something like that is that correct I don't know I'm not a medical doctor I'm not here to treat diagnose cure or dose anyone or anything I'm just sharing some of my recent experience in health and healing and uh, I have a website where I do a little bit more of that called uh, omsh.net I have a eBay store called omsh books and services and so this seemed to do a little relief I observed in terms of my shoulder pain and feeling um, because I, I noticed that when I would stop using it um, some days after it would uh, come back so I, I, I maintained a staying up with a homeopathic arnicare trauma from Boron Homeopathic. So um, another thing that I had to, a loved one overseas tell me about uh, food grade hydrogen peroxide and she's using that and she claims she's had much more energy and things like that and I did a little searching on the internet and I found out a few stories something about a Catholic priest uh, earlier in the 19th century that had used it and uh, so on and uh, I thought well that's interesting. And so I, I happened to come across an article, I think it was posted by Ken Atikai. It was on DMSO. And uh, thanks for that article, Ken, and uh, being out there on the net. And uh, I, I'd done a little bit more study and I found out they have some books on Amazon about DMSO and I looked on YouTube tonight which inspired me to make this video and saw that uh, there's actually a 60 Minutes report on uh, a doctor that's been or did at some point use this uh, DMSO for quite some time so 
I started to look for it. I decided I wanted some after going to my mom's nursing home one day and asking around about it. An employee there, a staff person, said that they use it. Uh, a couple of